there are three parts to this problem. First, they give us a function and ask us to use synthetic substitution to prove that x equals 1 is a root. So we set up a synthetic substitution. We set up a synthetic substitution setup. I'm going to put 1 in the box. I'm going to put the coefficients for my function going across the, uh, the top. Uh, 1 x to the fourth minus 1 x cubed. Be careful here. There's a plus 0 x squared. and We need to hold the space for the x squared term that isn't there. And then plus 4 x. Oops. There we go. And then minus 4 is our constant at the end. Now, if x equals 1 is truly a root, then that means we should end up with a 0 for our remainder because uh, the point 1, 0 would be on the graph, which makes it a root. If we don't get 0, that means we either screwed up or they gave us a stupid problem that doesn't work out. So synthetic substitution, we bring the 1 down below the line, multiply by the box number, gives you 1. That goes in the next available spot. Add down the column, it gets, you get 0. Multiply it by the box number, you still have 0. Add it down the column, you still have 0. Multiply it by the box number, you still have 0. Add it down the column, you get 4. Multiply it by the box, you get 4. And when you add down the column, you do get 0. So that checks out. 1 does give us a root for this function. Next, they ask us to take the original function and divide it by x minus 1 using, well, we could, we could use synthetic uh, division for this. In fact, we did already. If we were going to set this up as a synthetic division problem, we'd put 1 in the box because uh, we always have to put in the box the value of x that gives you 0 in the denominator. And then we'd have the, of course, same coefficients going across the top. Well, we're going to get the same thing we just did on the previous part of the problem because we, we have the same number in the box using the same coefficients. So we're going to get the same result. We're going to get 1, 0, 0, 4, 0, just like we did on the front page. When you do synthetic division, these are the coefficients to your actual answer. The first coefficient will go in front of a power one less than what you started out with. We started out with x to the fourth. So our answer will be 1x to the third plus 0x squared plus 0x and then plus 4 with no remainder. Uh, finally, they ask us to use synthetic substitution to evaluate f of negative 3. That means negative 3 goes directly into the box. We'll use the same coefficients that we used on the first two parts of the problem. And all we're going to be interested in here is the remainder. So we carry through the synthetic division, or synth synthetic substitution, I should say. We get a pretty big number here. Looks like 92. 92 is what you would get when you plug negative 3 into this function. <coughs> 